People say success is 90% attitude. But what do they mean by that word success? Does that mean if you have a good attitude, you're going to have more material things? Does it mean if you have a good attitude, you're going to make more money? Well, I don't know about that because when I think about that phrase, success is 90% attitude, I view it as I will be more successful going through challenging situations and difficult times by having a positive attitude. In this video, I'm going to cover the things that can detract from your positive attitude at work, the domino effect, eggs and attitudes, that's a special phrase I coined, also about what the surveys and research tell us, and I'm gonna share with you a favorite quote by Charles Swindoll. So let's get started. First of all, let's think about your work week. If you're like most people, you get to work, or if you're starting from home, you have a pretty good attitude. But it doesn't take long for things to happen that will detract that positive attitude, such as there is a fire to put out before you've even had a cup of coffee, or your leader fills your inbox with numerous emails, the internet isn't working, or your other technical devices. Maybe a coworker comes in with a bad attitude or your executive's trip goes haywire. And if you're working from home, there could be things around the house or if the children are still there or if your partner is at home or anyone else is living in your household, something can happen and then it triggers your attitude to slip. We'll think about the domino effect when those things happen. I know for me, I can feel stressed, frustrated, maybe angry. I can't think as clearly. Maybe the quality of work suffers, takes longer to get a project done. And then think about all the dominoes that fall when those things happen. In other words, if I'm feeling frustrated, let's say, or I get upset, then it's hard for me to focus. And if I'm not focusing, I'm not going to do as good a job. And I may even make mistakes. And then if that happens, I get upset about that. And then it's just this, again, row of dominoes falling. So the idea is we want to be aware of when our attitude starts to slip and try to take it down a different course. I like to compare attitudes to eggs. And in fact, I have a course I've been teaching for years called Eggs and Attitudes. So imagine for a moment you've gone to the supermarket and you buy a carton of eggs and you bring that carton home. Now let's pretend that you have one of those plastic egg containers in your refrigerator and you want to transfer the eggs from the carton to that container. Well, how do you transfer those? Very carefully, right? The eggs are delicate. You don't want them to fall. You don't want them to crack. Eggs are susceptible to outside forces. You and anyone else who lives in that house are going to do something to those eggs. And they can become scrambled, fried, hard-boiled, soft-boiled, you could even make omelets, right? Eggs are important to our health, as long as we don't eat too many of them. So attitudes are the same way. Our attitudes are fragile. They're delicate. We need to take care of them. Our attitudes are susceptible to outside forces, especially if you're out in the workplace. Yes, when you're home, you are susceptible to outside forces, but not as much as when you're working in an office environment because you have a lot more people around you. And so they can say or do things that all of a sudden affect you. Our attitudes can become scrambled, maybe when there's too much going on. 
They can become hard-boiled. Maybe someone says something to upset you. They can become soft-boiled. That's when you just don't care. You've tried everything you can and you really just don't care anymore. Well, our attitudes are also important to our health. And I know that for a fact because I've had some pretty big health issues over the years and some major surgeries that really knocked me down. And I know it was my attitude that helped me get stronger and get through those times and reduce my recuperation time. So that was pretty significant for me and was a real testimonial to the importance of having a positive attitude, a hopeful attitude. Thank <laughs> you.